What is up guys, I am JKU390 and welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Mega Man Zero 3. Last time I left you guys off on a cliffhanger, we were about to go and fight some bad guys. They're like, oh my gosh, they're doing something crazy. I think it had something to do with Omega being on a missile. Alright, so right here I was just trying to get me any of the discs I could. Those little pink paper airplane things are stupid. I hate them. That's okay. I just had me, uh... Well, basically, I just got home from my classes. They... A few hours long today. It's my annoyingly long day. <coughs> uh, and I haven't ate all day, so I got home and got me some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The chocolate egg ones for Easter. And... Yeah, so I ate them. Anyway, I'm sure by the time I'm done with this LP part, I'll sound a lot more dry and normal like always. So yeah, those stupid bumblebee buzzing purple airplane, paper airplanes are, <coughs> I don't know. I don't know why they made them. <coughs> you know, looking back on this, I probably could have just charged up my Z Saber and got that thing other than switching to that just to kill it, but whatever. It's all good. Cause like I said, I had me a Reese, so I'm in a good mood. I kind of want to get another one, but I'm not going to eat while I record, because that's just rude. I only burp while I record, and get drinks, and cough, and stuff. But it's okay, because I drink water. I'm a good example. <coughs> oh yeah, don't eat fattening chocolates, kids. Kids. I don't know how old the average audience of these videos are. I assume most to be younger than me, other than... Actually, no, I assume most to be younger than me. Except maybe Chibi whenever he's drunk. <coughs> I mean, even when he's not drunk, he's still older than me, but... That's the only time he watches these is when he's drunk. Alright, so there's not really much to talk about in terms of gameplay. You guys know the elements, hopefully, for now, at least if you've been watching all the parts or played it yourself. It's pretty straightforward. <coughs> I think I had an alright run of this. Those stupid bomb cannons are annoying. Not as annoying as the buzzing paper airplanes, but still. <coughs> I don't know why I use my Z Buster or Charge Shot or Buster Shot or whatever it's called in this one. Oh, excuse me. But whatever. I'm really surprised I didn't jump off after the money there. Aha! Stopped in that time. Oh, and then they made more. Yeah. Stupid paper airplanes. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. That's just what I first thought whenever I saw them. I was like, that was a purple paper airplane. <coughs> no! So yeah, Zero being the beast he is just jumped on a freaking missile. They launched it. Zero, don't get any closer. I have to act now while Omega is immobile. I'll sneak in and stop both him and the missile. Zero, what do you mean don't get any closer? I'm riding a freaking missile. What else am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, I'll just jump off. Because you know how well that works for me in every other game that I jump off ledges. Wow, those clouds make it... Yeah, they made it hard to see. <coughs> but it's cool. Maybe if I point my laptop up a little bit more. There we go. Because hopefully you guys know by now I'm in post-commentary, totally talking about everything that's going on. <coughs> for the most part. I actually like this level. I thought it was really cool. It's really easy, but it was really cool, because I just kept sprinting. And I didn't even realize, but the level's like blowing up behind me as I was running. Like, I knew the first one did, and I thought I just had to hurry there. But I didn't know the place was like blowing up behind me. I don't know if it keeps doing that, or only if you're standing there. But like, that one almost got me. And then again, that, if I would have been smart, I would have just went to the far left side and pogoed myself up there to grab that full health thing. 
I was wanting to fool my, uh, or fill my sub tank all the way. Which I'm pretty sure I look in a second and I realized it was almost full. Yeah. I was like, you know what, never mind. And now here we go to fight the boss. I don't know what I was doing, but... Anyway, here we go to fight the boss. <coughs> I guess I was just standing there to be... Stupid. Baby elves. He came, the bad Reploid. He came, the nasty Reploid. Since the other one's voiced by Tarvid usually. Omega will go rescue Mama. Don't get in his way. Leave. We'll protect him from you. Don't get in his way. Leave. So here we go. We get to fight some babies. <coughs> yep. And... I'll be honest. They're annoying. I can't send the ha 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 ha. Yeah, that. I don't know if they thought that made them cute, if that symbolized that they were babies or what, but it, they need to get rid of it. <coughs> oh well. And now they fuse together and turn into some weird orb, but I killed them. Ah, you horrible thing! Oh, that hurt! May have lost, but this missile will land soon. Our mission is a success. Yeah, I changed his voice a little bit. We may have lost, but we'll see our mama soon. Our mission success, right? Yeah. Gulp? I don't- I don't really know how to voice that. <coughs> So, I don't really know how Zero escaped that. I mean, it was a crashing missile into a city. <coughs> oh, wait, yeah, Dewey. Zero! That's how. And I got a C. I brought my rank back up, actually. Because I'm pretty sure it went down to be a D after I used my, uh... Uh... Crap. S my Cyber Elf. <laughs> Yay. <coughs> I was just rubbing my face in the pavement. Yay, mama, mama. Yay, mama, mama. It's my death growl. <laughs> I wonder how much that peaked my mic. Okay, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Oh, well. So, yeah, now we turn golden. <laughs> now I can change his voice up a little bit, probably. You beat up that reploid, <coughs> that reploid for us. Yeah, can you beat that fake reploid for us? And when I saw this, I thought he was going to give them a hug. His arms just go out and he's like, Hug! <laughs> Harpuya, what are you doing here? We the Reploids of Neo-Arcadia. We are defenders of humanity. The only justice here is this wasteland, what you people call justice. While, or wheel, I'm still not sure. I assume while because the Japanese name is Vile. And Harpuya got pwned. Ah! I... <coughs> I am... Harpuya! Perfect. Get him! Get him! I've got so many grungy voices in this part. <coughs> Zero, don't move. I'll transfer you to the base now. Epic transfer. Although I think Zero probably could have taken him. <coughs> Zero. I'm so happy that you're safe. Please, never do anything as crazy as that again. I'll think about it. By the way, how's Harpuya? Servo took him to the maintenance room. He was hurt, or he wasn't hurt very badly, but he'll have to rest and recuperate for a, for a while. Things really have gotten horrible. The operators will collect as much info as possible. Analyzing all of the information will take a while. Try to get some rest until then. I'm alright. Then at least, 
I'll save your data. <coughs> Override it? Yeah. And yeah, I did see that I went from a D to a C. Cool. Still don't understand how Neo Arcadia could blah blah blah, blah miss fire a missile into humans, even to obtain the Dark Elf. Someone has broken into our transmission circuit. It's Neo Arcadia. Put them through. <coughs> Can you <laughs> hear me, members of the Resistance, and Dr. Cecile? Copy X. We have custody of the Dark Elf. Let us put a, a stop to this foolish conflict. We ask that you surrender to, to us. <coughs> surrender? Hand over the new energy you invented, the SEAL system. If you do this, I guarantee the safety of your mavericks. He's gotta be. As a result of our analysis of the SEAL system, information you so kindly sent us. We have determined that by combining it with the Dark Elf, it may po be possible to generate enormous amounts of energy. This would solve the energy crisis in one fell swoop. There would be- <coughs> there would no longer be a reason for us to fight. Seal, a single answer from you will bring peace to, to the world. Dot dot dot. I can't. Trust you. What's the that? You were prepared to sacrifice humans to obtain the Dark Elf. I cannot trust you after seeing you do that. Or after seeing that, whatever. You cannot have the SEAL system. It was built so the humans and Reploids could live in peace. <coughs> Is that your answer? Fine. You have a, a monopoly of energy and energy resources. And Zero? A Reploid with terrifying for fighting skills. Y you are nothing more than a filthy extremist. SEAL? I was holding back. I was holding you back until now, because you were there, a human. Now you can face the consequences along with your maverick friends. <coughs> Transmission was cut off. Uh oh, what's happening? The Arcadian military has begun advancing on our base from multiple areas. They've launched a total offensive. Zero. I. You believed in yourself, and fought accordingly. What comes next is my job. Tell me which areas they're in, and I'll intercept. Zero. And now they're displaying the stuff on the monitor. <coughs> but I guess I still had some more stuff to do. Including the Cyber Elves. Well, I guess all of the discs, but... Secret di Oh, I was talking. Okay. He's telling me about Dr. Weil. <laughs> Alright, so while I'm getting the secret discs and stuff, um, alright, so the big problem with that was, originally Neo Arc Arcadia was fighting for the humans, which if you watched the first two games or played them or whatever, the Copy X was actually there thinking that he was defending humans, and basically everybody that I'm with are Mavericks. So it's not like there's really any clear-cut enemy, it's just kind of two opposing forces. I read that and thought that said Death Clock. Anyway, um... So yeah, now that Dr. Wilde took over, he fired that missile, <coughs> and he shot it to get the Dark Elf, he killed a bunch of innocent people. So that kind of takes away from the, you know, whole nice and good and trying to get... Oh wait, off screen I obtained the secret discs I missed, so I went back and got all of them. And here they are anyway. <coughs> oh yeah, automatic charge my weapon, that thing is awesome. Well... It would have been if I it didn't get annoying. <coughs> okay, so anyway, yeah, so that kind of shows that he's probably a villain due to the fact he murdered people to get what he wanted opposed to everybody else who just fights each other. Like, we're labeled as Mavericks, which in the X games, you fight against Mavericks, they're the bad guys. In this game, you basically are the Mavericks, and you find out that you're not, so I don't know. It's kind of one of those things you play it, and basically the point is that shows that Wyle is a bad guy. And now we gotta go mess him up. We gotta push him around a little bit. Alright, now I cut back to the original footage, I guess. <coughs> oh, so there's the charging helmet. So I was like, okay, this is cool. It just keeps charging automatically. But that stupid Super Saiyan sound. Just a... 
And there she is talking about Kray and Priya. She's like, do you remember? Do you think they remember me? Probably. And she's like, hooray! Here you go. I, you get 116. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, I was trying to go to the maintenance room. That's where Harpuya is. <coughs> I thought that was pretty cool, actually. And then Andrew telling us the story of his younger days. Oh, okay, this is the quiz after I did it. But yeah, I was like, he was a bread maker. And he went to a picnic. He gave her a donut. She couldn't find the four leaf, so she gave him a three leaf. Yep. And he never gave her name. Yeah. I was pretty proud of myself for remembering that stuff. Because, <coughs> yes, I'm nice and went back and reread the stuff. 2 0, I'm so busy, blah, blah, blah. Look at me, I'm fat and I do stuff now. By carrying this box on my shoulder or whatever it is for the past three games. Oh, yeah, and it's like. <laughs> Do I look skinny? And I was thinking, I was like, not really. Then I heard and just went back up to Yan and clicked it. Because I knew I was going to call him fat. And he gave me 169. <coughs> Found a secret disc. Oh boy. So as you can see... Did it just cut? That was weird. <coughs> oh. I sat on the headphones. I was like, what the heck? I heard the sound cutting in and out. Yeah, I got these ones too. There was one quiz that kept messing me up. And I don't know if that was in this part or not. And 023. Actually, I don't think it was this part. I think there was only three or four. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> but now I can't remember what I was talking about, so that kind of sucks. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I ho guess you guys that watch these might have noticed I didn't upload a part yesterday. Yesterday being the 28th? Yeah, today's the 29th. Yesterday being the 28th. Uh, I'm going to upload two parts today. So if you're watching this now and it's not up, there will be another part coming out later. Which I guess will be part five. Oh, I was like, this Reploid eats. I was like, yeah, he does. And then I switched back over to this. So here they are, and if you look and you played the Zero or One or seen it, you might see some pretty familiar bosses here. So I think the last game was like Necromancis the Third, where we fought in the desert and stuff. <coughs> I think he like changed his name to Necromancis the Fourth or something, but I'm not 100% sure. Zero. Why do you always talk to me as I'm leaving? I guess that's the charge chip. <laughs> Those things are annoying. I hate the shrimps. It's like, dang it, go away. See, those shrimps beat me up. Normal soldiers don't do crap. And is, I guess I already got annoyed by that chip. Oh, I was trying to get health. Alright, I was wondering what I was doing, but it doesn't really help since there's shrimp things in the area that keep hurting me. Well, I guess I was one plus. I got their cyber elf. Or their disc, or whatever the heck they are. I'm gonna start probably calling them cyber elves. If I do and don't realize, I apologize, but... <clears throat> I'm so used to the other two games. See, I'm in the armor that Tarvidi was calling the Harpuya armor. Because, well, it makes it where I don't sink in the sand. And that is very nice. I was like, oh crap, I can move. <coughs> I remember this stupid thing was, well, stupid. Oh, 
I don't know why, I just don't like fighting this thing. I guess because it's pulling you down, and if you don't have this armor on, then you'll start sinking in the sand at the bottom as well. And I don't know what its weakness is, so that wouldn't really help either. But, oh well. <coughs> I don't know what those, like, rocks remind me of. It's like a type of cereal, I think, but I can't think of it. Things that the weird worm shoots out of its mouth. Oh well. Yeah, I that was weird. It looked like my health went back up. I think I was on the enemy and it gave me health and I didn't get to hear the sound though. Because <laughs> that just looked really strange. Oh well. Like a large majority of enemies in this game, those things that fly down kind of annoyed me. And those cannons annoy me. And it annoyed me even more that after this, I had to come back and I think kill more of them for their chip. Because it didn't even occur to me that they could have one. I don't know why. <coughs> I like the next enemy. I just realized, I wonder if I can bounce off of those guys that just flew by and launch even higher. Why has that not occurred to me before? Also, why do I have the blade out still? Usually I just kind of say screw this and switch over to my Z Saber. Oh, I was trying to stab up, okay. Yeah, you can't just stab up with those and that's kind of annoying. So I wonder what they'll do with that rod in the next game. I don't know, I haven't played Zero Four yet. Okay, this next enemy's pretty cool. I was like, oh, and then Pantheon start jumping out, so I was like, okay. It's a helicopter. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, if you played Mega Man X. Which, I mean, I guess most people that have played Mega Man games have. Or at least that watch the LPs have at least seen something of it, if they're watching the Zero LP. But yeah, it reminds me of the first level, the giant blue bugs, I'm not sure what they're called, that fly down. <coughs> like bee cutter or something I don't know why they put two discs that close to each other either <coughs> oh I was slowing down I was wondering why I slowed down there for a second I was like oh I thought Anubis Necromancer was coming up oh well Man, it's hard to believe I'm so close to being done with this, like, series. I just kind of sat down, <coughs> like I said, I was going to play it alongside Sora, who played the X-Series. And he's got two parts done, and I've got three games done. Which, last I heard, he has strep throat now. So, you know, even longer wait. I did find, or yeah, I was talking to Priest the other day, and we found our chat where we actually came up with the name True Friends Gaming. I don't know, it was pretty cool. We had so many stupid ideas for names. <coughs> I guess the name, that, the first one that I suggested was, I think it was like The Friends Gaming, or The Gaming Friends, or something like that. Sora was the one that actually eventually decided True, actually he said True Friends Game, but it kind of turned into True Friends Gaming. Ah, here we go with the boss. <coughs> I have been summoned by Lord Wyle back from the Netherworld to continue my reign of terror. Ancient one, it is now your turn to lie, blah blah blah, back to the earth with you. And I died already, he's powerful. There is no eternity in this world. But yeah, that's a powerful boss. Even in life, it must come to an end. But actually, no, that was just the end. I cut to it to make it look like that, to be like, what the heck? But here's my actual fight with him. 
So he pretty much fights the exact same way, except instead of giant pillars coming up, sarcophagus come up. And they're actually more annoying because they come, the last set comes up off screen. Plus they have, you know, a little electricity thing going. Also, when he summons the zombies, yeah, the ground sinks in. And that took me a second to get what was going on. I was like, what the heck? But I got him. You of the ancient soul, you have no place in the world Lord Wiles creating. I'll enjoy viewing your torment from my grave below. Ha 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 ha. Dead. I enjoyed watching you blow up, dick. Okay, so I guess I did get all the ones there. Cool. Oh no, I'm a D again, the wounded warrior. Do you know why? Because I died to Necronomus, the dick. No, but it's cool. Like I said, I don't care about rank. And I transferred. The blood leader, they've retreated, and they won't... Basically, they're not in that area anymore. Yet, if I go back, they're there, so I think she's lying. <coughs> and Anubis Necronomist the... I guess that said fourth. I don't know. It either said fourth or fifth. I wasn't... If there was an I in there that said fourth, if not, then it was the fifth. Huh, I'm yawning. What was I doing here? Oh, okay. The foot chip that can jump on water. It's pretty cool. Ah, yes. I was getting my... St well, I was checking the stuff. I was like, okay, there's the double vitality one. And there's add slightly two. Which I knew those were plus fours if it says that. So obviously I was excited. Because now it's time to start becoming extremely unnecessarily powerful. Which in this game, I make Zero much more powerful than he's been in any of the previous games. I can tell you that now. <coughs> and my neighbor is mowing the like his yard, oh boy. More stuff to try and take out of the background sound. Okay, so I hit that once, what am I doing? Oh, upgrade. Make it a satellite? No. Because I realized, I don't care about rank. Satellites suck. They just fly around and they're stupid. Although I think there is one satellite I end up using and I completely forgot I had it a lot of the time. It's like, yeah! Yeah, there's my victory dance that I did because I doubled my vitality. And I'm getting really close. I guess the rest of this part's just me getting this stuff. So you guys probably don't have to watch anymore. I'm probably just going to add the two vitality things. There, I saved you some time. I mean, if there's anything special, then I mean... Whatever. Unless you guys want to just keep hearing me talk about what I'm doing. and So you can say you watched the entire series. Alright, so what was I doing here? I guess I was equipping the one. And the part is actually about to end, so I guess I'm just going to sign out now. So, I am JKU390, and until next time, guys, and girls, later. <laughs>